In July of this year, Tax Impressive 6485 posted the subreddit Paranormal Encounters. The video shows a security guard checking an invisible guest. You can see the security guard go through his usual daily job motions and even grab a wheelchair once he's done checking in the guest. At first I was skeptical because anything can be acted out, but watching it again it's clearly a CCTV camera. CCTV cameras usually do not have sound and this video obviously doesn't have any. In the beginning of the video I thought it could have been a hotel, but when you watch the video further you notice a name and a symbol. After noticing the name I searched it up on Google and the search showed that it's a hospital in Argentina. Searching further about the hospital, someone who goes by the name Dracul244 on reddit explained that his wife was hospitalized at this same hospital and even went in to show the guards this footage because apparently it was a pretty viral moment in Argentina. I've asked the guard that was on duty at that moment about this. He was visibly upset by my question since apparently many people went asking about the same thing. He didn't know who the guard was on the video since security is run by a third party company and they don't know each other because they work around on several clients each week. Hospital's PR management told the door was broken, and it was open many times that day. But the guard registered a dead person's name on the entrance's notebook. That is the strange part. I tried to push a little further on the subject, feeling that I was going to be kicked out soon enough. To my surprise, the guard cooled down a little bit and told me, all I can say to you is that nobody wants to do the night shift here twice. According to the news company, they sent the guard on the video to make a cognitive and technical test that same day. But nobody knows him, and both the hospital and security company refuses to disclose his name. In June, the Redditor Octopus Funeral posted a video about his home. He explained that he has lived in this house for two years, and during those two years, weird stuff always happens. In the post, he says that the entire house is active with paranormal activity, but the absolute worst is the basement. We lived in this house for two years. Over that time, we had encounters from saw blades sliding off tables to strange shadows moving when confronted. The whole house was active, however the worst was the basement, which is where this video was taken. I was doing my wash and I felt a presence behind me, however every time I felt that, something crazy has happened in the basement 90% of the time. In this video, the door in the back is a heavy 1 and 3 quarter inch thick solid oak slat door with original 1930s hinges. I'm a big dude and even I had trouble closing the door. I have had that door open and close on me before in that basement and was not expecting to catch that on camera. Like I was saying earlier, um, most of the stuff does happen down here. Um, and you can't really So that door always swings wide open and it stays open. It doesn't ever close, stay like that. Oh, there you go. Let go of it. Oh crap, that's freaky. Trail cameras tend to capture some pretty eerie footage and pictures. Evidence of these kinds of things is all over Reddit and this photo here is a prime example. Last year in October, Dystopia321 set up a trail camera in the woods to capture photos of deer and other wildlife. What this person caught was a hell of a lot more scarier than wildlife. This is a camera set up in the woods, set up to take photos when it senses movement. The main purpose is to take photos of deer and other wildlife. There are no people that could be in the woods at the time and it had to be moving to set off the camera. What is this? Now, I tried to search through the comments to get a better idea of what exactly this could be, but there was no explanation. One commenter said that it could be an owl in a tree, but the commenter below brightened the picture and clearly it's not an owl. Last year, a redditor posted to the subreddit Paranormal Encounters explaining that him and his roommate each experience weird things while home alone. It's pretty easy to be able to alter a video, but this doesn't seem like one of those videos. This is a video my roommate took in our creepy apartment about five years ago. 
Everyone living in that building, five people at the time, have experienced something strange. I make a video right now because I just heard something fucking loud as fuck in the bathroom. It sounded like something fell. Oh shit. That was up there. Dick. Oh shit! I went through some comments to find some sort of explanation only to find a more chilling response of more examples from the original poster. Someone had asked them what other creepy experiences did you or your roommates experience that weren't recorded. One night I was in bed and I heard the only other female roommate call my name from the living room. I get up and go out there and she isn't in there. I go through the house and no one is out of bed, so I went back to bed assuming that I dreamt it. But the next morning, she asked me, did you call me last night? I heard you call me, but when I came out, you weren't there. Then there was one night, we all decorated the tree for Christmas in the apartment. We were all having a good time, and I saw my boyfriend's brother standing in the living room doorway. I didn't think too much of it until I turned to my left to see he was standing beside me. When I looked back in the living room, no one was there. We all used to like to scare each other by hiding and jumping out. I came out of the bathroom and could partially see someone hiding around the corner crouched down. I was excited to scare them instead, and so I jumped around and said, I see you, but they were just gone. Those were the things I experienced. They all had their own things too. Just typical spooky things. Things I'm sure could be explained, but it was more the feeling of being there. It was more of a you had to be there to really get it kind of thing. In the subreddit, are paranormal? Someone asked the question, are there any paranormal photos or videos you believe are real? A lot of photos and videos are believed to be fake or have some other explanation behind it. But what photo or video do you believe has a good chance of being real? Or what do you believe is 100% real? Usually, when I see questions like this, I take some time to go through the thread, just in case there are some eerie photos or videos, and usually there aren't. People like to post things like claiming to capture orbs when more than likely it's just dust. This time though, I found something that I believe was 100% real, mainly because there are examples of this everywhere. The Redditor Mechanic Wannabe posted this photo and said, I was looking at a Facebook page a long time ago where it was a paranormal investigation team. Different people had written to them needing help with various spiritual situations. This one lady had moved because of what was in this photo. Her son had an imaginary friend, but the family was also experiencing other strange things going on. The mom hears the son talking to the imaginary friend in the living room and decides to take a picture. She never saw anything at first until she looked at the picture and this showed up. I just remember thinking between the letter she wrote and the picture, this felt like the real thing. 